Hey guys, Easy Science here. Studying for an exam or just learning for fun? You've come to the right place. Today's topic is somewhat of in relation with the product rule as seen in my previous video, the quotient rule. So right here is what you could, what you see is the quotient rule. It is used when you have a division in calculus and you want to find the derivative. So let's say f of x is equal to x squared divided by x minus 3. When you differentiate this, you don't just differentiate the top part and the bottom part. It's like the product rule. You have to use a specific rule to differentiate it. Or let's say f of x is equal to gx over hx. So I'm just going to differentiate this using the product rule. But I'll show you how the quotient rule actually functions. So if we multiply the bot this this other si both sides by h of x, we would receive g of x is equal to f of x multiplied by h of x. It's kind of like the well using it differentiating with the product. Well, not yet differentiating. The next step would be differentiating. So then g prime of x would give f prime of x multiplied by h of x. Or here, I'll, I'll put it into an image. So then g prime of x would equal, with the product rule, the first derivative of the first function multiplied by the second function plus the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second function. So now let's put this into perspective with the quotient rule. So if we take away f of x multiplied by h prime of x, we would receive g prime of x minus f of x multiplied by f prime of x would be equal to f prime of x multiplied by h of x. If we divide this side by h of x and or divide sorry this side by the h of x sorry for the bad writing but in turn you it would get you right here f prime of x would be that but that's not all we want because there's still f of x and we know f of x which is g of x divided by h of x so we plug that into the function f of x which in turn would get the same thing but minus g of x divided by h of x multiplied by h prime of x divided by h of x then the h of x goes down to the denominator through the cosh another rule of division so in turn you would get g prime or yeah g prime of x minus well in the end it will get you to g prime of x multiplied by h of x minus g of x multiplied by h prime of x divided by h of x squared that would be the product the quotient rule excuse me now let's solve this f of x thing so we know that if the top part is g of x and the bottom part is h of x we could just follow these rules so g prime of x or g uh, prime of yeah g prime of x would be 2x multiplied by h of x which is x minus 3 minus g of x which is x squared multiplied by 1 divided by x minus 3 squared which would get us to 2x squared min multiplied by sorry minus 
put it minus 6x minus x squared multiplied by 1 which is the same thing as x squared okay then we could cancel well not cancel minus x squared from here which would leave us with x squared minus 6x divided by x minus 3 squared so that's what the quotient rule is so in the end we found out how to relate the quotient rule with the product rule we found out what the quotient rule was and I gave an example of the quotient rule okay guys thank you for watching if you liked the video please leave a like and comment for future videos if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and I'll start creating more content and try to put more out easy science out